Party and Minecraft Podcast, episode 100! We're your host, Bearded Sloth. And Little C. We're clipping right along with this podcast. That's right. Today we have a very special show for y'all with several fun moments, including our after-hours show clips, our listener question segments, and of course we had to get some of Holy Bookworm's jokes of the week. We are pre-recording this episode to celebrate our 100th episode! You're invited to join our Discord to be part of the Block Party conversation. Visit theblockpartymc.com for the ultimate Block Party experience. Explore our free Bedrock add-on packs. Join our amazing Discord community and find our fun YouTube channel. Help support what we do and unlock amazing exclusive perks like the After Hours Show and access to all of our past episodes by becoming an official subscriber. I hope everybody's excited for this show. It's going to be great, Little C. I don't know if y'all are ready for this. I really hope they enjoy the show. Whoosh. And here are some clips from the After Hours show. Prepare yourself for the craziness. This is what you've been missing out on. You should definitely subscribe. Zoom. I'm so excited. Yes, the Block Party After Hours show. It's just BS and Little C After Hours After Dark. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, man, this is going to get crazy. Who else is excited? Thank you. Oh, we are so glad you're as excited as we are. This is bonus episodes for our subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to our podcast. Really helps us out. Really appreciate you all. What are we going to do, Little C? I mean, I guess since it's a podcast, we should probably do dances. That makes sense. Yes, we'll do dances, do all kinds of visual jokes and have props. Yeah, honestly, all visual. We don't even need the audio. Just cut that out. Right. Yeah, we don't need this and we have no cameras. We'll just do it so we don't have to worry about pointing at the camera or anything like that. Man, we are so smart. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Could drive it. I learned to drive with a Jeep. That was a stick shift, three speed. Fun. Yeah. And just drive through the woods and stuff like that. So I got very comfortable with vehicles themselves that way. I drove the lawnmower. Yeah, see, you're you're highly qualified now. Yep, yep. Drove the lawnmower, highly qualified. You drove the lawnmower, you've had remote control cars in the past, and yeah. you've played video games. What more do you need? Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm paying extra for driver's ed if that's all you needed. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. No, I that's didn't even really learn fun. how to drive on the online class I took. I learned nothing about driving besides like how to like what signs and stuff meant. Most of it was just annoying documentaries about stuff. Well, that's what the driving portion of that is. You just take the test. Same with when I got my truck driving license. They call it a CDL, commercial driver's license. When I got that, I aced the written test that I had to take to get my beginner's permit or learner's permit, whatever you want to call it for that. I knew nothing about trucks at all. I go up and go to a training center after that. And here you go. Let's go driving, you know, and I've got 53 foot trailer behind me, full cab. You know, it was crazy. And here I am 17 years later, almost, and I'm perfectly comfortable. You've been driving a semi more than I've been alive. Yes, I have. Wow. You're old. Yep. Uh, Well, hey, I'm not that old. I don't have any hair on top anymore, though. Well, that doesn't help you shaved it. Well, you didn't have any on top. It's all on the sides <laughs> when it grows. So how are you doing today, Little C? I'm tired. We're recording the After Hours show in the morning. It is in the morning, but it's still After Hours for the studio. True. It's, it, it's not old. normal business hours for the block party. That's for sure. It's Monday. It is a Monday. What are you doing? I have no idea. I'm just slacking off, I guess. Yeah, we well, know. we have a special episode today. Yeah, very special. Why is it special, little thing? Well, there's a guy sitting next to me. There is this weird why. guy he sitting next appeared. to you. You know, he just showed up in the studio. Welcome. Ah, hi, guys. Thank uh, you for having me. Yes, this is Aaron Lewis. Hello. Welcome to the Block Party Studios. Very nice, isn't it? 
Yes, it is very nice. Yeah, a little cozy. Yes, very cozy. Glad very I'm cozy. here. Yeah, yep, yeah, um, yeah. It's kind of cold in here. It is kind of cold, <laughs> but you know, it, our guest apparently doesn't like the heater on. <laughs> well, not next to me. <laughs> uh, right? Yeah, I understand. Well, you're wearing like a whole Eskimo suit over here, so it's a yeah. little different. So yeah, we just wanted to bring random people in. You I, just yeah, we totally just grabbed you off the street, right? Yeah, that's right, just off the street. Yeah, yeah that's down right. The corner. Now, yeah. uh, we've known you for a while now. Yes, a long time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Long, long, long time. Very long. <laughs> yes. 25 years. Welcome back to the After Hours show here at the Block Party. That's not usually how I do the intro. I'm changing it up. Are you guys okay with that? I hope you're okay with that. Are you okay, Little C? That's the real question. Probably not. And I still don't know what episode it is. I have no idea. Who knows? But that's okay. It's the After Hours, so we don't really care what episode it is. Yeah. You're a subscriber if you're listening to this, so we really appreciate this. We actually have a special person in the studio today. Well, not, not in, in the, the studio, studio, but, you know, recording with us. And that is Max from Bisect Hosting. Yeah, we did a regular show. We actually were recording it on the same day, but that was on Saturday when the show normally releases that you listened. That would Hopefully be you episode 77, of course. Yeah, I could have looked down at my show notes. I didn't realize that it was sitting right there. So, Max, welcome to the After Hours show. Yeah, thanks, guys. I'm uh, glad to be back. Um I was very excited when I heard you have this after hour show because I think on on the main podcast we got off topic a lot and <laughs> so now we have an opportunity to actually discuss all those things. No, I'm it's curious. I the the power is uh, like I I'm like a right. I'm like a child. Every time I get <laughs> I call like free like highway on ramps, I call them launch ramps because it's an opportunity <laughs> to get like to the speed limit as quickly as possible. And like every time, like the the feeling, like like it still makes me giggle. It's insane. <laughs> That's awesome. So, now, what kind of EV do you have? I have a Model Three Tesla. So you're a pastor, and you were our pastor, mm-hmm. and preaching the word just so wholeheartedly. But we're video gamers over here. Yeah. And we love video games. Now we get into Christianity and video games. How a lot of people would say that's not right. Like we play Minecraft. I've even heard people say, oh, that's got zombies in it. That's got to be evil. Mm. Yes. The Minecraft Mm -hmm. zombies that are, you know, pixels are so terrifying. Yeah. So for the Enderman. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Nice (laughs) reference there. (laughs) How do you correlate? I know you've played games too, Mm -hmm. and you have children Mm -hmm. and played games and all that. Mm -hmm. So how do you correlate that, especially when you get into games where maybe you're killing, that's the ultimate goal Mm -hmm. of the game, like Mm -hmm. a Call of Duty or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you correlate that? Yeah. You know, I've I've gone through different seasons of life for myself. There was actually a, a period in my life where I was playing probably way too much. I think as I've gotten older, uh, my hand-eye coordination continues to deteriorate, and maybe that's what kept me back from continuing to play, or my younger sons uh, destroying me on FIFA World Cup, and I don't like losing, so that was difficult. But uh, I think at the end of the day, it, it boils down to, especially from a Christian worldview perspective, is there is nothing wrong with enjoying the common graces of God. Um, And that could be in a lot of different categories. For me, I love sports, but, you Mm. know, video games, too, as well, can be something that is enjoyable, uh, that you can kind of defrag. I like to use that term, that old school uh, computer type term there. But we always need to be examining our our hearts and, and where is our emphasis and focus. Do we play video games so much to the extent that it becomes overwhelmingly obsessive okay can relate to that yeah yeah mm-hmm. definitely it can definitely be most definitely and that's something i definitely struggle with mm-hmm. right I, I mean doing this podcast the the main podcast the block party and having jericho smp or minecraft server it really has consumed a lot of time in my life mm-hmm. welcome back we've got 10 clips of listener questions for y'all 
All these come from episodes around 45 to 55 or so. I wanted to sincerely thank you all for being a part of the show. You guys are absolutely amazing. You're the most definitely the best podcast audience ever. I am over here filled with rage because it annoys me so much when he says most definitely. Most definitely. Keep helping us out by submitting your listener questions in all the ways you can. You know, we've got a phone. You can text us. You can leave us a voicemail. Join our Discord. That's probably the easiest way. Wouldn't you agree, Little C? I think the Discord's the best way. Or they can even email us. Anyways, here we go. Da -da 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 -do. Listener questions. Our first question comes from Dragon Shoes. Pirates or ninjas? All right, I'm going to say pirates because I really enjoy Arby's. Really? Really BS? Yes, and if you don't know, Arby's is a roast beef fast I'm food place. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Arby's is. Hey, you never know. We've got listeners from all around the world. It's amazing how many different countries we have listeners from. Wait, so not everybody can go to Arby's? I don't think so. That's yeah. kind of sad. Yeah, so it is. It's a fast food place here in the U.S., and they sell roast beef sandwiches. Anyways, uh, enough advertising. Arby's. For, oh, my gosh. Enough advertising for Arby's. I like ninjas because they're sneaky and because of the show Lego Ninjago. There you go. Ninjas are awesome. I actually, when I play games, I like to sneak around. I love the games where you are being sneaky. Then why more. don't you go and fight the warden then? Or yeah, try not to fight the warden. Exactly. Try not to. I have not done enough exploring. <laughs> Next question comes from Wire Guy. Now, this question took a lot of research. We had to go out for lunch to Mexican to get the answer because it's tacos or enchiladas. That is true. Tacos or enchiladas. That is such an important question. We are so happy you guys are bringing us the really important questions here. Like, honestly, I didn't realize these questions would take actual research, but no, it took a lot. Yes, we did. So what'd you find out, Little Z? So I have always liked tacos, and I've never actually had an enchilada before besides today. So yeah, we did that, and I think my answer has to be... Tacos still. Still tacos. All right. Yes, they are good. I probably have to go with taco here also. I did order two tacos and two enchiladas for lunch today, so I gave it a fair balance and a fair chance. I will tell you, I love tacos. Absolutely. In fact, this whole week in my truck, I ate tacos. I think he's a little biased towards tacos. Now, the enchiladas are good. I'm not opposed to them. I will definitely eat them if you bring them to me. So make sure you donate some enchiladas to me. <laughs> as far as my favorite Mexican type of food, I actually really like the chimichangas. I think my favorite type of Mexican food is arroz con pollo. That's my favorite. Or arroz con carne. Yeah, those are good. That's basically chicken or steak on a bed of rice. And a lot of cheese. And a whole bunch of that white cheese they put on everything. It's amazing. It absolutely is. Our first question here comes from G. Rowie. The smithing table at this point only used for netherite, but what other uses would you like to see with it? I've always wondered what adding gold to netherite armor would look like, maybe giving it different properties. Now, I like this idea of a way to modify your armor a bit to your liking, like using the gold or maybe add some bling bling to your armor or something. I know you can do it like with leather armor. You can make different colors with the dyes and stuff. Wouldn't that be cool to be able to do that with your other armor? Dude, that is a really cool idea to be able to like customize your armor. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I might be able to dig real deep into the add-on pack stuff and maybe come up with something like I that. I think you should just go work for Mojang at this point. I can be the idea guy. They'd have to teach me a lot. Like how to have ideas? Nah, no, like <laughs> to be able to code it, right? I'd have to learn all kinds of stuff. I'm very basic when it comes to that. We know. I have no official training. I like the texture on the top of the smithing table, so if nothing else, I'll use it for a nice floy block. There you go. Smithing table for that. 
Yeah, the the main part of that question, the smithing table, I really don't know what else to do with it. I think they did what they need to do. But yeah, I, I think maybe using dyes and, you know, that kind of thing, that's the way to go. Our first question here comes from Holy Bookworm. Do you think a Minecraft amusement park would be cool or even possible? For sure. You can do a lot with rails and drops and even pistons to push you up. So it really is amazing what you could accomplish to make rides and things like that. On Jericho SMP Season 2, which was last season, we actually had a carnival event at one time. It was really cool to see what everybody came up with. I think there was like like a ice slide thing like that came down, like a water slide type thing. There was all kinds of stuff. There was even a dunk tank. I spent more time at the dunk tank, I think. That's because you were in it, because we had to dunk the owner. Yeah, of course. It, that was a big hit. It was a lot of fun. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do. So yeah, absolutely. Make an amusement park. Make it happen. I think 100% and I love them. I think you can do... I've even thought of like building my own and stuff on Jericho. I just haven't had the time and the resources to do it as it'd be a really, really big project to do what I'm thinking of. But what you can do is you can do roller coasters with the rails and like drops. Because if you have rails going and then like a big drop but you're in the minecart and land on rails i don't think you take fall damage don't quote me on that if you get a death please but yeah so i don't think Whoopsie. you take fall damage but yeah but boats on ice are great for bumper cars or bumper boats and stuff and pig racing is probably the best pig racing pig that's racing. where it's at yes that we need to do at. pig racing okay fun friends if you're listening pig racing coming soon to jericho SP season three oink oink go vroom our first question here comes from Ghostly. What is the best part about playing Bed Wars or even Minecraft in general? All right, best part of Bed Wars for me is winning the fight over who gets the covers. What are you talking about? Going to bed, you know, when I go to bed and, you know, at home with Holy Bookworm, I got to fight over the covers. What? Oh, that's not... You mean we, in Minecraft. Yeah, we were talking about Hypixel Bed Wars. Our first question here comes from Crypt. When will you give us a house tour? Well, as soon as you come over. Well, not really. Well, kind of. I eh, No, not really. But I'm not sure exactly what you want to know about our house. It has rooms, roof, foundation, etc. What more is there to know? I mean, it's a little wobbly at days. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how windy it is outside. Uh, yeah, we live out in the country in northeast Indiana around a bunch of cornfields, and we've got some woods behind us. It is far from fancy, but it is functional, just how I prefer. It is away from people, which is also a plus for me. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, we have about three acres of land and room to park my semi-truck with a full trailer, too. We have a room dedicated as a studio for the block party slash warehouse for CCR games. We have a room for little C to sleep in and one for his office for school. I know, it's awesome. I got a whole two rooms. We should take, like, the wall out or, like, combine them. Yeah. Anything I missed about our house, I think I pretty much covered it all. Uh, oh, we got a driveway, too. We do have a long driveway. And a barn with We do have doors. a barn. Yeah. It's for nice. Sure. We're going to do a karaoke party out there tonight. Yeah, it's fun. We Come should... on over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... We're going to do pizza and karaoke. Yeah. Wait, wait. Some of our listeners we know in real life, they might actually take it up on that offer. That's okay. Yeah, sure. Come on. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, Not that I can think of. I mean... uh. We have a lot of Star Wars decoration at our house. We do. We, instead of having the typical stuff, we have a very nice china cabinet in our dining room. Oh, yeah. It's like a really fancy one. And it's full of Lego. Yes, we have Lego builds in our really, really nice china cabinet that got gifted for my grandmother. And, yeah, it's supposed to hold, like, fancy china and dishes and all that stuff. Yeah, we just hold I mean, Lego it's got in. a few fancy things, like pictures from your wedding. Yeah, we have one small section dedicated for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just your wedding, the rest, Lego. Yes, it's great. Holy bookworm, yay. 
If you could get rid of two things in the game, what would they be and why? I would probably say villagers as they are today. No, no, no. Get this guy out of here. They're just way overpowered. And my second thing is Enderman picking up blocks. You know, there's a setting that can disable that. They've just been really annoying around my super flat area, around my iron farm especially. And there's just blocks moved everywhere. They're randomly moving things constantly. Super annoying. Hey, super annoying. And a tip for that, double up your custom landscaping. Have two blocks, so then it's not just a big hole into a pit of death. Oh, like when you do... Mountains or whatever, making them custom. Yeah, double the it side up. of a hill or something. I gotcha. I usually do it with netherrack, and then I cover it up with the pretty blocks. So I would have to say phantoms. Phantoms? Really? Yes, they're so annoying. I just go to bed all the time at night, so they never affect me. When you're AFKing or whatever, even for like a few minutes, it seems like they just appear and kill you. And I'd have to say Deep Slate. Deep Slate? Really? Deep Slate. I'm starting to like it. I like the look of it. I love the blocks you can mine with it. And I like how it changes from stone to Deep Slate. I love everything about Deep Slate, but you can't insta-mine it with the Haste 2 Efficiency 5. Yeah, that insta-mine stuff, it's too fast for me anyways. I need anyways, to be my... able to insta-mine to do my giant holes in the ground. Hey, I did a whole chunk all the way down to bedrock, and I didn't have anywhere close to an insta-mine pickaxe. Some of us don't have that much patience. Yeah, my brain just doesn't move that fast, little C. What? It's almost like a sloth brain. I wonder where my name came from anyways. Hmm. Hmm. Now for a do 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 listener questions. Our first question here comes from Any Isle. If you could add two things to the game other than fireflies, what would they be? I am still waiting for my bundles and the super duper graphics pack. That was added as RTX. That's what that is. Yeah, it was supposed to be totally separate, supposed to be for consoles and everything. It was just so hard on the devices that they scrapped it. That's so sad. I thought it was reasonable to figure it out, but it, apparently not uh, to it them. It should be. So now I'm up to adding the stuff that I like. That's why I have the donut pack. So I'll just add the stuff myself, I guess. Hey, whatever works. Not going to be able to do a super duper graphics pack, but maybe I could figure out bundles eventually. Maybe. That'd be pretty cool. Or we just wait for them to add it. Oh, they probably won't. So, I would have to say Firefly... Oh, okay. I would have to say custom skins on consoles for Bedrock Edition and a version switcher built into the Minecraft launcher for Bedrock Edition. Both things added, like, for Bedrock Edition, one for console, one for PC. I could even see it, like, on the custom skins. When we talked about this before, you could maybe upload it to an official website and they could moderate it a bit there, like you create an account or something, and then be able to choose that skin from that website. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, kind of like on Gran Turismo, I think, on PlayStation 4, you can upload custom wraps for cars. Yeah, you can design your own car and all that stuff and then be able to put it. You can put all those pictures down. I remember playing online and racing other people. They had some amazing skins, essentially, for the cars. And then you just had a big, like, you know, sloth on the front of yours. Yes, that makes sense. Because you drive so slow. There you go. Yes, I'm definitely last place all the time. Unless you're playing me, it always seems you're in first place when racing me. I'm really good at race games. No, you're not. All right, our next question came from Holy Bookworm. What is the most useless thing in Minecraft? I would have to say that the fact that you can remove a pumpkin from a snow golem. I mean, it's cute. Okay, the snow golem's face is absolutely adorable. But, like, why? I guess you get the pumpkin back, don't you? So you can pretty much have infinite snow golems if you have one pumpkin in snow. And they make snow. Yeah, so once you get one, you have infinite snow golems, theoretically. I never thought about it. I don't... Does it give you the pumpkin back? I think it does. I'm not... Oh, don't now quote I gotta me on go this, test that. But I think it does. So there's your infinite snowman machine. There you go. Infinite pumpkins? No, you only get one pumpkin. Oh, yeah, because you gotta give it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not dropping yeah. more than one. But yeah, there you go. 
All right, I'm assuming she's asking something useless other than Little C. Hey, I'm not useless. The show would be so boring without me. (laughs) I agree. I had to throw that out there, though. You just had to. Probably say bat. They are not useless. Well, there are so few. I don't even remember the last time I've seen one in game. Oh, I see them a lot when I go caving and they give, well, not on bedrock because the spawning's weird when you're underground in caves, but on Java and stuff where the spawning's a bit more, like, works better, I see them. They're terrifying when you're just walking a dark cave and you're just kind of walking along. Your brightness isn't at max, so you don't have full bright on. You have, like, just placing torches, it's dark, you can't see past the torch light, and then whoosh, something flies by you. Yeah, I get that for sure, but they don't really hurt, help, or drop anything at all. But I suppose as I say that, I think of lightning bugs for ambience, and they kind of do create that ambience you're talking and about. And we don't have fireflies, why? Yeah, and that's kind of what the bats were for yeah. also. I think it'd be cool if they went back and kind of redid the bats. I am kind of curious if there are more bats now with the caves and cliffs, if you encounter them more or less than There's before. There's less. There's definitely less. Okay, because I really don't go caving anymore. You're too scared? I really am. They're too huge. I don't like it. It's scary. <laughs> Next question comes from US Roadhog. Hashtag Bia Smells. Wait a minute. That's me. What? What? what, what <laughs> it's a new that? trend we're starting. Hashtag uh, BS smells. Ah, uh, jeez. I took a shower. Come on now. Like last week. Once a week, whether I need it or not, right? <laughs> oh, my. All right. He asks, best Blake Shelton song besides Old Red, Little C? Okay. So to explain, if you don't know who Blake Shelton is, he is, doesn't he like do the show The Voice? He's on the show, that show. But I do believe that is him, yes. He is a country singer, like, and he's pretty good. So since I can't use Old Red, that's like the best Blake Shelton song, I'd probably have to go with the song God's Country. Ah, very good. Old Red's itching to have a little fun. Oh, wait, we can't do that one. That's right. Well, some beat, somewhere. Oh, I, okay. All right, let's move on. I don't really know, but I do like that new guy that was on America's Got Talent. I think his name was Drake Milligan. Oh, he was really good, yeah. Yeah, he was really good. I I like country music. I don't know song names very well, especially... Obviously, this is a reference to a past show. This was a while ago. The song Free and Easy Down the Road I Go by Dirk Bentley, he said Slow and Easy Down the Road I Go. That's because I'm a sloth, little C. But that's not how the song goes. That's how it went in my head. All right. Great questions. Keep them coming in. Be sure to get all your questions in. Just keep posting. Let's have hundreds and hundreds of questions on there. We'll get to them eventually. Let's see how many questions you can ask. And remember, they can be non-Minecraft related or Minecraft related. We like them both. Just be sure to make them family friendly, of course. Of course. Why, hello there. You got back quickly. No show would be complete without some of Holy Bookworm's jokes of the week, so here are some of our favorites. Before we get to those, the first episode with a joke included, besides the two hosts, was on episode 31. Wow, that's amazing. I didn't realize that she's been doing it that long. I'm amazed I still have any brain cells left after listening to some of her jokes. Who says I have any brain cells to begin with? Wah, wah, wah. Um, all right, and we have a small sub-segment here. Maybe it'll be a weekly one, too, if you guys like it. I'm hoping they love it. It's Holy Bookworm's Joke of the Week. Today, a lady at the bank asked me to check her balance. So I pushed her over. <laughs> That's a great joke. I, Thank I, you, Holy Bookworm, for that. I feel like you'd probably get in trouble if you did that, though. Oh, jeez, you're too literal, kid. Oops. Now for Holy Bookworm's Joke of the Week. Why did the balloons run away from the concert? They were playing pop music. Da dun dun <laughs> That's a good one, actually. That is when a really good one. you first told me that when you were putting it on, I literally laughed, like, when you were telling me that joke while you were putting it down on the notes. I love the jokes. It's so fun to... It just kind of puts a smile on your face while you're playing in Jericho, for sure. 
Now for Holy Bookworms, Joke of the Week. Why was the king only a foot tall? Because he was a ruler. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, I get that one. I get it. That's oh, funny. It took you a second there, Little C. That's fun. Great show, Little C. Now for my favorite part, Holy Bookworms, Joke of the Week. What did the snail say while riding the turtle's back? Wee! <laughs> that's that's a, that's a good joke right there, Holy Bookworm. Thank you. I laughed when I posted it. Yeah, and you're in charge of all the jokes on Jericho SMP. Yeah, that's like my little side job here. There you go. I guess I got to start playing Minecraft more. Yeah, there we go. You heard it here. Heard it here first, folks. Now, my favorite part, Holy Bookworm's joke of the week. What is the scariest tree? Bamboo. Oh, my. Wait, is bamboo even a tree? I don't know. Now, No, I think it's a grass. Oh, man. Holy Bookworm oh, now, now we're tearing her. apart the Holy Bookworm's joke of the week. Can we just take it for face value here and bamboo? Ha, 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 ha. There ha, we go. No, it's so funny. You found the end portal, players. If you're wondering where our past week segment is, do not worry. We will have an 100 and a half show with the changelogs and a lot of complaining from BS about his issues with the latest update for Bedrock Edition. Be sure to come back and listen to that. It's time to gather our Minecraft friends and extend the invitation to your fellow players. Join us in spreading the block party hype by sharing our awesome Discord community, checking out our YouTube channel, downloading our free add-on packs, and unlocking exclusive content as a subscriber at theblockpartymc.com. Let's get this party started. We want to hear from you. We love your comments and questions. You can email us at contact at theblockpartymc.com or leave us a voicemail or text us at 1-260-222-7240. Thank you for being here. We truly appreciate it. Make sure to tell everyone about the Block Party and Minecraft podcast I'm Bearded Sloth, and now I gotta eat my coffee. And I'm Little C, and that's a wrap.